All right, let's just go through this. <clears throat> I was asked to cover um, an example regarding the time weighted value as well as the dollar weighted uh, value. And so, anyways, this is how I start this kind of problem. I actually don't even draw this chart, but this is a very nice way to give you um, your time weighted return. So, uh, let's see. What kind of um, cash flows do I have? I have $50,000 on January 1st. So this is the balance before. I made some deposits or withdrawals potentially, and this is my balance after. This is basically at the end of that month, right? So in the month of January, 1-1, one, one, uh, I started with 50,000. So I have 50 grand here. I deposit and withdraw nothing, which means at the end of the month, I still have 50,000. However, in May, actually when I make my first deposit, and that is, well, it increased at the beginning, before the deposit, it increased because of interest, of course, to 52,000. Then I make a deposit of 8,000, so plus 8,000. Of course, adding those, I get 60,000. So there's my balance at the end of the month. At some unknown time, T, which they do say in years, this can be complicated, by the way. That's one of the reasons I did this example. When they ask you to find the date here, the most annoying thing ever I hate it anyways they're telling me T's in years that makes things a lot easier actually so there's gonna be some fraction and they tell me specifically it's between uh, April 12th April 12th I always have to do this I look like an idiot in public like counting your fingers right I don't care 412 so April 12th to the end of the year so this is some time in years it's a fraction and look at my answers I mean of course it's a fraction so anyways sometime T the value has increased to 62,000 and I make a withdrawal of 10,000. All right, so this is going to be whatever, 52,000. And then at the end of the year, it's 55,000. Why am I setting it up this way? If you set it up this way, this is probably the easiest thing ever after this look to compute the time weighted return just now do this i don't even write all this when i'm doing it it's much more <laughs> unorganized but i'm so nice to you guys right i love you guys so much that i actually try to explain what's going on so i'm putting these arrows why am i putting these arrows this is just a good nice easy way to figure out the time weighted returns. This over this times this over this times this over this equals one plus I. That's how you compute the time weighted return. It's very straightforward. That's it. So 52 divided by 50. I mean, I'm canceling some zeros, right? Uh, times 62 divided by 60 times 55 divided by 52 is equal to one plus I. Work your magic. I is 13. So this tells me I is 0 0.13 with a lot of sixes. I'll put a bar over that. I hate when they give ugly numbers like that. It's like, can you just give me a clear, nice, clean fraction? Damn you, right? Anyways, time return gives me the interest rate. Uh, give me this rate I. Okay, let's use the dollar weighted return now because ultimately I want to find what T is. So we're told that the dollar weighted return equals the time weighted return. Interestingly, interestingly enough, time weighted return, no concern of time. We didn't, even set, we didn't care about the dates at all. All we care about is these particular values. Uh, initial ending and initial balances, right? At each month. Now for the dollar weighted, we do care about the actual dates we care immensely about the dates so this is what i'm going to do for dollar weighted this is always how i do it um i see most most examples i see of this they just jump right to it but this is this is how i go through it just preference hate on me if you want but this is what i do so now for the dollar weighted and you'll see that this is equivalent to however you do it all you care about for the dollar weighted is the initial balance, which is 50,000. 
then you need to encompass the withdrawals and the deposits throughout the year, and then you care about the ending balance. That's it. So the way that I think about it personally is that 50,000 accumulates one year. 50,000 accumulates one year. Now everything using the dollar weighted uh, return approach accumulates with simple interest. That's one thing to keep in mind. It accumulates with simple interest. Now I have a deposit of 8,000. How long does 8,000 actually stay in my account for? How many months am I accumulating 8,000? Well, it's deposited at the beginning of May. So that means it's taken care of January, February, March, April, four months. That means it accumulates eight months. This is one plus. I'm using simple interest though. Eight over 12, I. Now I need to minus this right here, this withdrawal of 10,000. How long does 10,000 accumulate for? It accumulates for, this is where it gets weird. I mean, what the hell? Remember T is some time in years, uh, it was actually um, where the account is actually set up, right? So this is like, how do I explain this? I need to compute the distance from one to T this way. I need to go this way, right? But T is given how many years after one one, after this, after this date right here, this is how many years after this date we made uh, this deposit, this withdrawal of 10,000. But I need to figure out how much it needs to accumulate. I'm making this sound more complicated than it is. This it needs to accumulate for one minus T years times I. Again, I'm using simple interest. Now all of these things accumulate to be equal to 55,000. Now honestly, I'm pretty hesitant to even go through this. This is, this is easy right here. I mean, why am I saying it's easy? It's easy for you guys studying for this test because you know algebra, you know calculus, you should be very comfortable with this sort of thing. Just get I by itself. Actually, just get T by itself. We have I. Remember, from the dollar weighted, from the time weighted, I is 0 0.1366 forever. Solve for T. I mean, this is not hard. I, I'm not, not going to go through it. This tells you that T is equal to 0 0.5 uh, 8 8 6 so that takes care of it tell me what you think hope it was helpful and uh, thank you for requesting this video